Hello children, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn part 2 of Power Empowered Women Navigating the World. The Pros and 10 Standard Samachit Kalvi. This lesson is an interview with the 6 members of the All Women India Navy Crew under the captaincy of Vartika Joshi. So I think you know this. The crew has sailed around the earth for 254 days. They tell about their experience in this voyage. In the previous video, we have seen what is their aim of the voyage and the selection of members and their training course. They shared their experience. That is how they were selected and how they were trained in the previous session. Isn't it? So in this session, we are going to see what are all the challenges they have faced at the sea. So we know 70% of the earth is covered by water body. Ocean, a body of water that composes much of a planet's hydrosphere. There are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean, also called as Ant Antarctic Ocean and Arctic Ocean. So they are going to circumnavigate the oceans and the earth. What were your aims and how did you work to achieve them? Interview work. Vartika Joshi, I wanted to make sure that I complete this journey with ultimate honesty. I did not set out for a destination. It was the journey that mattered to me the most. So my contention was to make sure that we go by the rules of circumnavigation which say that you don't have to use any auxiliary means of repulsion and you don't have to take anybody else assistance. I grasp, grasped that completely. So what is the meaning of ultimate? So ultimate means it is at most the greatest, isn't it? So I wanted to make sure that I complete this journey with ultimate honesty. So while they successfully completed their expedition means only because of their honesty. So they took up this uh, character uh, as their aim and they completed their journey. And for Vartika Joshi, this was the most important journey. It mattered a lot to her. And so, so with the sternest effort and the, by the rules of the circumnavigation without using any auxiliary means that is uh, any substitutes or any other equipments, any other force uh, in order to complete the expedition. And they do not want to get any assistance from anyone. So these qualities she understood it completely and they took up the journey. Interviewer, name that one quality of yours that enabled you to complete this expedition successfully. Whenever the winds dropped it, uh, dropped, it wouldn't have taken me a fraction of a second to switch on the engine and say, let's go one mile ahead. But inside of me, something poked me and said that you have to be honest with yourself and this expedition has to be done with honesty. I am glad that we were able to finish it successfully without the use of engine at all. That is, what is the aim of their expedition means? They have to use the non-conventional renewable resource that is wind energy in order to complete their expedition. So, uh, even the winds dropped, that is even the wind have fallen, they did not use the, uh, switch on the engine in order to move ahead. So just because of uh, her honesty, they were able to make it without using the engine. Interviewer, as the head of the crew, how did you involve the team? Vartika Joshi, 
we have all sailed and trained the same amount and everybody has their own way of uh, dealing with uh, situations but that was a good thing because we could discuss different ways of solving a problem choose the best one in fact i would say it was easier for us to collaborate and work together that is collaborate means work jointly on a activity or project so we know teamwork is working together towards single vision yes they worked as a team and achieved we have all sailed and trained the same amount and everybody has their own way of dealing with the situation that is if any problem arises each one gave their own solution so they had unique solution and what the captain did means see uh, looked for the best solution and she tackled the problem easily so they collaborated and worked together to achieve and they faced the problem and found the solution pail gupta when you are set out at sea teamwork is the most important in the middle of the crisis even during the storm when three people would be out on watch the other three who would be inside would be able to rest some would not be able to rest somebody would heed the water other person would heed the gloves because it was raining also so team effort actually helped in navigating through the 20 hours long storm i feel that i had been alone then it would have been a nightmare to deal with the challenges that the sea throws at you again pail gupta emphasizes the teamwork teamwork is working together towards single vision so what is a storm here violent disturbance of the atmosphere with the strong winds and usually rain thunder lightning or snow so this is storm so they encountered a a a, a, a storm so uh, while navigation so it prolonged to 20 hours so it was a long storm so during this situation how did they handle how did they handle this situation oh one was uh, uh, that is uh, uh, among sing uh, among uh, three uh, even during the storm when three people would be out on watch so three people were out on watch and other three people what they were doing they were not taking rest what they were doing they were heating the water and other person uh, would heat the gloves because it was raining also so only the team spread actually helped them to complete the expedition without any problem what is nightmare so nightmare means it is a frightening or unpleasant situation so uh, it is very difficult situation uh, it was a frightening experience but because of their team effort they have completed the expedition this is poyal gupta interviewer share your experience about the most challenging task while sailing vartika joshi the sea can get really tough when winds are picking up those are the times we have to be active and need to anticipate what could be there ahead in the south pacific we encountered a storm where the seas were almost 9 to 10 meters high and the winds were picking up to 60 to 70 knots a unit of sp- uh, speed equal to 1 nautical mile per hour exactly 1.852 km per hour which is about a hurricane force of wind on land 
So what is picking up? Picking up means there is an increase. That is, winds are getting high. That is, they are getting strong. The sea can, can get really tough when the winds are picking up. So, when things become very difficult or unpleasant to deal with, people with the true resolve, determination or strength of character will take action and find means to continue carrying on. So, likewise, when the winds were strong, these six members worked with the determination. Those are the times we have to be very active. So, at that time, they were very active and they could predict uh, the future. That is what is going to happen uh, ahead. So, what is ahead? Further forward. So, what is going to happen next? In the South Pacific, we encountered a storm. What is encountered? An experience, uh, an unpleasant uh, uh, situation. So they experienced an unpleasant situation in the South Pacific because the seas were almost 9 to 10 meters high. So how were the seas? The seas were getting high. They were almost 9 to 10 meters high. They were picking up to 60 to 70 knots. That is, knot is a unit of speed equal to 1 nautical mile per hour, exactly 1.852 km per hour. Nautical mile is a unit of measurement used at sea. It is equal to 1,852 meter. So, which is about a hurricane force of wind on land. So, what is hurricane? So, it is a, in Tamil we can call it a suravali. Wind at a speed of 118 km per hour. A storm with a violent wind in particular in a, tropic, a, tropical, a tropical cyclone. A violent wind that has a circular movement, especially in the West Atlantic Ocean. But when they faced this problem means when they were in the South Pacific. It is normal on sea where there is hardly any landmass to stop the winds. So, at that time, they expected to have a large body of land. In order to stop the winds, it was a bliss. It was also a blissful experience when something broke down, and after a lot of hard work and effort, we were able to fix it together. We will remember those incidents as well because it gave us the strength to move on and off if something went bad. We were able to overcome those challenges. So, what is blissful? Blissful means very happy. It is also a joyous experience. So when something broke down, so bro breakdown, what is the meaning of breakdown? Stop working, isn't it? So after a lot of hard work and effort, they were able to fix the problem. So they, they were able to uh, repair the things. So when the things stopped to work, they were able to repair it and make it to work. We will remember these incidents as well because it gave us the strength to move on and if something went bad. So always they had a spirit of uh, success. That is they had to complete the expedition. They thought of the problems which they encountered and how they fixed it. So likewise, every time when they faced the challenges, they recalled uh, the problem which they have encountered in the past and they were able to fix it. They were able to repair it. So this is hurricane. What is hurricane? A storm with violent wind. A, a violent wind that has a circular movement, especially uh, it will be in the West Atlantic Ocean, okay? 
इंटरव्यूवर हाउ एडवेंचरस वॉज यूर ट्रिप बत्तिका जोशी वेन वी वेर क्रॉसिंग द तस्मान सी तस्मान सी We witnessed the brilliant southern lights from sea. It was rare to watch that in those months. That too from sea. We were absolutely awestruck as we were not expecting it to see the entire sky lit up in green light. There was bioluminescence dolphins swimming in the wake of the boat like or neighbors and a variety of sea creatures huge we spotted a dead sperm whale once and we thought it was an island from a distance it was so huge we are not specialist so whenever we spotted something in the sea we had to uh, we had to google it to learn more about the species So Tasman, what is Tasman? Tasmania is an island state of Australia. So it is the twenty-sixth largest island in the world. The sea, Tasman Sea, the Tasman Sea was named after the Dutch explorer. So where it is located? It is located in Western Pacific Ocean. so there was bioluminescence what is bioluminescence bioluminescence means prediction and emission of light by a living organism what is awestruck we were absolutely awestruck awestruck means we are uh, we wonder as we are not expecting it what is witness see a happening or an event have knowledge of uh, uh, of uh, from observation or experience so we witnessed the brilliant southern light from sea so when did they witness the southern lights when they were crossing the tasman sea it was very rare in those months and it was a wonder they did not expect because the entire sky lit up in green light could you able to see it yes so the entire sea was lit up lit up in green light so what is lit up illuminated ignited we were absolutely awestruck as we were not expecting it to see the entire sky lit up in green light there was bioluminescence dolphins swimming in the wake of the boat like our neighbors and a variety of sea creatures they could see that is bioluminescence means prediction and emission of light by a living organism and like neighbors who were swimming means dolphins and they could see many other creatures sea creatures in the ocean we spotted a dead sperm whale once and we thought it was an island from a distance it was so huge so how was the sperm dead sperm whale so this is dead sperm whale how it looked it looked like a land moss that is it looked like an island what is island a land moss covered by water in all the four sides we are not specialist so whenever we spotted something in the sea we had to google it to learn more about the species so whenever they see the creature in the sea they could take a photograph and they could search in google what the creature it and they um, came to know more information by searching in google interviewer how did you accrue sp spend time in the sea during circum swati so this answer was given by swati during circum navigation we 
picked up some hobbies and kept posting pictures of delicacies like golgapas and cakes we also read books when the weather was pleasant and did some quilling and craft work while team leader joshi read comics and ramayana during her journey i loved cooking as well so i indulged in baking i also liked crafting a lot so i used it to make lamp shades i loved it when people appreciate the food that i cook so i gave any crew members the best dishes that was possible on land with the limited resources that we had on the boat okay so that is um, during their circum navigation they took up many hobbies and they kept on posting uh, pictures of delicacies so what is delicacies something especially rare or expensive that is good to eat the item which is good to eat which are the items good to eat we prefer to eat golgapas what is golgapas uh, it is a pani puri isn't it so uh, they prepared cakes so pani puri cakes halwas rasgullas parathas so those they prepared and they enjoyed it uh, without any um, that is uh, with the limited resources they could able to prepare all these items and uh, they kept in the pantry and uh, what uh, joshi was doing means she was reading comics and and ramayana during her journey and who loved cooking swati loved cooking as well so uh, i uh, she indulged in baking she also liked a crafting a lot so she made lamp shades so this is a lamp shade what is lamp shade a cover for a lamp and what is quilling a type of ornament ornamental craft involving the shaping or folding the paper by using uh, and we even uh, we can also use glass fabrics in order to make the craft works so that is quilling and vartika joshi read comics and ramayana during her journey and swati loved uh, cooking as well as she also indulged in baking and she also liked to do craft works and she made our lamp shades and i love it when people appreciate the food that i cook so i gave my crew members the best dishes that is whenever she cooks when she prepared the food items what the other crew members did means they appreciated swati so she did the best dishes with limited resources on the boat we celebrated festivals at sea what and all festivals they celebrated when we think about it now on land we remember the diwali we spent at see we celebrated three birthdays including the first birthday of the boat also specific occasions like crossing the equator the international date line such so that is this is the equator and uh, what is equator an imaginary line around the middle of the planet or the celestial body so you could see the imaginary line it is in the mid of the north pole and the south pole could you able to see yes the international date line it passes through the mid of the specific uh, pacific ocean it follows 180 degree longitude yes could you able to see in a, a line in the mid of this pacific ocean yes they celebrated uh, a diwali and also three birthdays that includes the uh, first birthday of the insv tarani they celebrated festivals at sea what and all festivals they have celebrated they have celebrated diwali 
and they also celebrated three birthdays including the first birthday of the boat and also whenever they cross the equator and the international date line they celebrated as a specific occasions they celebrated as a special occasions what motivated you to fulfill the country's expectation swati gave the answer we knew that the entire country was watching us and praying for us so we never wanted them to have a single day thinking that we are in trouble we knew that it is going to happen but the people out there did not know what kind of challenges we were facing so what she meant to say that whatever the problems they faced during their circumnavigation was not known to the persons in the entire world or our in the country so uh, which made uh, what motivated to fulfill the country's expectation means the entire country was watching and praying for them so that made them to complete the expedition and which motivated them means that is they um, uh, we are uh, we are the spectators we are watching them and we are praying for for them and uh, they do not want to Uh, tell the uh, trouble which they have ent- encountered in the sea so one of the mo- motives that we kept in mind was that we did not want to frighten them we decided that once the circumnavigating was over we are going to show what we have actually gone through so during their expedition they do not want to frighten the uh, nation that is they were in trouble so uh, we uh, they do not want to uh, tell anything about the problems which they have faced at the sea interviewer as a woman how would you consider this expedition patika josi it is a matter of great honor and we could have could could not have imagined anything better for our cast off that is it was a great prestige and a great respect for them it it was a great uh, honor that is great respect and they could not had imagined anything better of the journey that is uh, uh, they have not experienced anything that have done better when they were in the land and now they have done the best at the sea so when they were thrown off in the sea uh, that was the best experience they had imagined in their life of course we being an all women team it is a great boost to women in the country so of course we being an all women team it is a great boost to women in the country it was a great encouragement for the all women in the country the entire women community in the country but as we are going as sailors and we as sailors have seen that sea does not discriminate between genders so as sailors sea did not differentiate between the genders whether they were male or they were female that is sea did not show any differences they are gender neutral so it is common for both male and female it is always gender neutral and we have realized that gender does not play an important role in sailing but to boost the moral that is in order to increase the confidence 
in, uh, in the um, country and for more uh, women to take in adventures like sailing, I feel it is great that an all women team, all women team had been formed to undergo this expedition. So why they have made this, uh, why they have made uh, women to take, undertake this project means in order to boost confidence in women in the country, they have made this expedition, they have undertaken this expedition. So what is adventures? Activities with some put, uh, potential for physical danger. So definitely uh, it is an adventurous activity means it is an, a risky activity in order to show their both physical and mental strength. So this All India uh, Women Crew has showed their talent, they showed their strength to the country and completed the expedition successfully. Great things never come from comfort zones. Prime Minister appreciated them, lauded them. Success is the result of perfection and hard work. So, the crew members have proved it. Which quality of the skipper helped to bring out a successful expedition? Honesty of the skipper helped to bring out a successful expedition. Who among the crew mentioned about teamwork? Payal Gupta mentioned about teamwork. When did they witness the brilliant southern light from the sea? How did the sky appear there? When they were crossing the Tasman Sea, they witnessed the brilliant southern lights from the sea. The entire sea lit up in great light, green light. What festival did they celebrate during their expedition? They celebrated Diwali during their expedition. I have given book back questions also and I have given answers for it. Dear children, please copy it in your classwork notebook. Pass the video and copy it. Thank you for watching.